What is up guys? My name is Alex Caves and let's start today's Studio Caves Daily. So, I got most of the room cleaned up yesterday. It's looking good. I rearranged some stuff. And then uh, my biggest job for today is to clear off my desk of all of these crap. And um, mm, my tongue is still sore, my throat's still sore, so I'm gonna be talking minimally on this episode. Ugh, because it's starting to hurt already. Mm, okay, so let's get to it. iPhone stopped working for some reason. It won't even turn on. I don't know what's going on. The tap, the haptic feedback is still there. Hmm. All right, table's cleared. Now let's get to the next step, which is that the soundproof foam stuff. It's cheap material, I should say. All right, let me show you what I'm doing with it. Ugh. I don't want to talk too much. All right, so these things comes in a 12 by 12 square, as they say. It is actually more like 12 by 11 and 3 quarters, so it doesn't fit side by side if you keep crisscrossing like that. So to kind of combat that problem as well as to make it more usable and be able to generate more patterns, I'm actually cutting it down into three sections. So it looks like this and I can lay it down in whatever way I want. A little more freedom in the pattern that I can create. And also what I want to do, you know, when you have these side by side, it's a sharp end into a sharp end. Let me bring the light over. That's how it looks like end to end. So to make it look more professional, more clean, this is a little sample here. I've cut it at an angle. See? What that does is make it look like it's supposed to be together and it looks really nice. Look at that. So that's the plan cut up all of those to threes so I get a pile of that and then cut the angle out of each one and that's gonna go on the ceiling This is everything. Now I gotta cut the, the angles. So the next step is to cut the angle, just like this, on each one of these, on both sides, of course. Alright, so now that all of the foam pieces have been cut and angled, now I need to figure out what pattern I want to use for uh, putting it up on the ceiling. <laughs> So 
this is my first pattern. Just a crisscross. Pattern number two. It does have openings, so you will see part of the ceiling, but it does cover more space, more surface. Pattern number three. Kind of the mix of the two. Pattern number four. It's big squares, basically. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm gonna call this a day. Cutting these up into smaller pieces really lets you be more creative. So, having fun with the patterns. Hey, comment below and let me know which pattern you liked best. And uh, I'll probably be putting it up in a couple days. So, let me know. And uh, in the meantime, I need to throw all this footage up into the computer and start editing today's episode. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Every little bit helps a ton and I really appreciate it. We are constantly self-reflecting, improving what we do and sharing our story along the way so that you can enjoy it and see it and uh, be part of the journey. My name is Alex Caves. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Get in there.